I sat down with Joe Holden, a reporter and anchor for CBS3 KYW-TV, where he discusses how he fulfilled his dream of becoming an anchor in Philadelphia. So I graduated from Cabrini College in 2002 with a degree in English and Communication. I had an internship at a TV station and I knew this is exactly what I wanted to do. I worked the assignment desk for about a year and a half at WB17, which is no longer its own news operation. Channel 6 now provides coverage. A couple of people took me under their wing and showed me the ropes and I made a resume tape, which will hopefully never see the light of day because I was awful. It was terrible. And I landed my first on-air gig at NBC 29 in Charlottesville, Virginia. My next role was a reporter and investigative reporter and anchor in Scranton for the NBC station. And I spent eight years there. So I had always dreamed that I'd come straight back to Philly, but off to Pittsburgh it was. I spent three years at WPXI in Pittsburgh, which is an awesome legacy station. It was very exhilarating for me to be part of that. I was promoted to weekend anchor there. And then about a half a year after that, I got the call to interview here. And I took the job here in May of 2016. So I was here for about two years when they promoted me to weekend anchor for CBS3. Uh, in my time here, I've had the opportunity to do some fun things and some very heavy things, which is sort of like my wheelhouse. Alex, we have fresh details about this killing out here in the brewery town section of Philadelphia. I come across very seriously, but I also enjoy the elements of this job where you are always learning something or you're always experiencing something new and it is your job to convey that to the viewer and sometimes my eyes widen with uh, you know intense interest just because I'm really I'm experiencing something for the first time too along with the viewer and that's what makes this job so cool and so the day starts off with just educating yourself on what's going on and then coming in I'm either listening to KYW 1060 or I'm texting sources, Facebook, again, Twitter. I'm visiting these sites all the time because I want, people are sending us messages, they're reaching out, they're communicating with us. I address more emails. Some people wait to sit down at their desk and start answering emails. I'm doing it all day. And I launched a program called iNews, which is the brain of our newsroom and our studio. It interlocks not only production stuff, but script writing, assignments, who's doing what, who's writing what, and I have to read my scripts. I'm someone I like to be very hands-on. I like to write a lot. I also like to sit at the assignment desk where I started out in this business and just listen to the scanners. I will be annoying at times asking the assignment editor, what was that? Wait, shh, what was that? I, I like to be engaged, I like to be active, and from there, you know, we, we do a live show. We do dozens and dozens of hours of live news programming every week. And that is a testament to the commitment of news operations. But it's, it's also, it's what we do. It's what we wanted to do. It's what we went, went to school for. We want to give the viewers the absolute most accurate, the best information that we can. And when we're on a big story, we want to stay on it. As a reporter at heart, I anchor weekends, but as a reporter at heart, I find that I have to be committed to getting to the bottom of very thorny, complicated issues, breaking it down and making it very digestible, understandable, just the two cents of it. And then when the day is over, which doesn't ever seem to actually be the case because you're always gathering, gathering, you're preparing for tomorrow. And you just hit rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. Since the second grade, I wanted to do this. Never thought I'd actually be able to do it because it's such a hard business to get into. But if you work hard, set up your goals, this can happen. Believe in yourself. That does it for us. We hope you have a great night. Thank you for watching.